Good day. Thank you for this opportunity to present my study entitled Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Program of St. Agnes Academy, Legazpi City. This is my master's thesis, and in 2018, I was given the chance to present this study during the Bicol University Graduate School Academic Colloquium, and in the same year, this study was awarded as Best Paper in Climate Change and Disaster Risk Reduction and Management during the International Conference on Research and Extension organized by the Southeast Asian Regional Center for Graduate Study and Research. Let me present now the rationale of my study. Over the past years, China, the United States, India, Indonesia, and the Philippines constitute together the top five countries that are most frequently hit by natural disasters. And these natural disasters killed a significant number and millions of people became victims worldwide. The Philippines is prone to almost all types of natural hazards because of the country's geographical location and geotectonic setting. The Philippines is situated along the highly seismic Pacific Ring of Fire, which makes the country prone to occurrences of earthquakes, tsunamis, and volcanic eruptions. Aside from being situated in the Pacific Ring of Fire, the country is also located along the Pacific Typhoon Belt this explains the occurrences of different weather disturbances, such as typhoons. The last decade has been marked by major natural disasters for the Philippines, as the country bore the brunt of a monster typhoon and a deadly earthquake that killed thousands and left billions of pesos in damage to infrastructure and properties. Republic Act No. 10121, also known as the Philippine Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Act of 2010, was created to provide for the development of policies and plans and implementation of actions and measures which pertain to all aspects of disaster risk reduction and management anchored on Hyogo Framework of Action from 2005 to 2015. At present, the DRRM programs of the government are anchored on the Sendai Framework, which is the successor instrument to the Yogo Framework for Action, which is on building the resilience of nations and communities to disasters. This framework is a global blueprint for disaster risk reduction efforts that aims to reduce disaster losses in lives, properties, social and environmental assets of communities and countries. In Bicol region, local government units, communities, and schools have positively responded to this marching order in order to make communities better prepared, as it has been known to be the typhoon capital of the Philippines, together with the other natural hazards brought by the existence of volcanoes in the place. In response to this and the sincerest desire to keep the campus a safe place for all the students, faculty, office staff, general services personnel, and the whole school community, St. Agnes Academy has developed a school-based program on disaster risk reduction and management. The purpose of this study was to evaluate the disaster risk reduction and management capability of St. Agnes Academy in terms of plan, policies, program, people, equipment, and fund for the purpose of developing a program that could serve as a guide for the successful implementation of disaster risk reduction and management and strengthen the institution's mechanisms and capacities along preparedness response, recovery, and mitigation that can systematically contribute to building resilience to hazards. The level of capability of St. Agnes Academy in terms of plan, policies, 
programming, people, equipment, and fund on DRR implementation, primary data were gathered based on the evaluation of DRRM experts. Experts from Japan International Cooperating Agency, Albay Provincial Safety and Emergency Management Office, Civil Defense Region 5, the Gaspi City Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council, Bureau of Fire Protection, and Bicol University were invited to assess the school's capability on disaster risk reduction and management. To determine the status of the implementation in St. Agnes Academy, the researcher used secondary data using the school's DRRM program module and reports available. These are the salient findings of the study. St. Agnes Academy has a plan on disaster risk reduction and management along preparedness, response, recovery, and mitigation. The school is highly capable in terms of preparedness plan to effectively anticipate, respond to, and recover from the impacts of likely imminent or hazards present in the school are well-defined and established. In terms of the school's policy on the provision of fund for the successful implementation of the different activities included in the Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Program of the institution, it was evaluated by experts as highly capable. The school is capable in terms of its program on disaster risk reduction and management. The program includes the rational, objectives, plan of activities along the four thematic areas, organizational structure, tasks of the different committees, standard operating procedure in responding to natural disasters. Along people, teachers, students, and other members of the school community attend regular trainings and seminars in relation to disaster risk reduction and management along the four key areas which her in translated as capable. Along people, the school was evaluated by DRRM experts as capable. It means that teachers, students, and other members of the school community are given trainings, seminars, drills, and simulation exercises in relation to disaster risk reduction and management. For the recommendations, stakeholders and partner agencies must be involved in reviewing and revising the school's program on disaster risk reduction and management. Likewise, stakeholders and DRRM agencies must be part of the evaluation of the program. Simulation exercise activities must be conducted involving the surrounding communities. Drills must be planned collaboratively with officials of barangays within the vicinity of St. Agnes Academy. Along response, direct lines from the CDCC and Office of the Mayor must be made available. Tsunami drill must be conducted and proper orientation to all the members of the community regarding its procedure must be given at the start of the school year. Members of the response committee must be given more trainings and seminars specifically on responding to different disasters. Along recovery, building insurances must be considered by the administrators as part of the school's DRRM program. Building treatment and inspection must be conducted regularly by experts in order to mitigate the effects of disasters. The proposed disaster risk reduction and management program must be implemented in the school. St. Agnes Academy should institutionalize the program on disaster risk reduction and management in collaboration with stakeholders. Bicol Association of Schools and Association of Benedictine Schools in the Philippines can utilize the program as a guide in implementing the disaster risk reduction and management in schools. DRR and CCA mainstreaming 
in order to achieve the Millennium Development Goals and improvement of the Human Development Index. This is the school's DRRM organizational chart. The overall chairperson acts as the consultant and responsible for decision-making on disaster risk reduction and management of the institution. The chairperson oversees and manages the whole disaster risk reduction and management along preparedness, response, recovery, and mitigation. The Disaster Preparedness Committee is responsible for the activities prior to a disaster. The Disaster Response Committee is responsible for the activities during a disaster. The Disaster Recovery Committee is responsible for the activities after a disaster. And the Disaster Mitigation Committee is responsible for the activities that reduce the effects of the disaster. Let me also present the school's DRRM development plan along the four key thematic areas preparedness, response, recovery, and mitigation. Along preparedness, School's plan on response. This is the school's plan along recovery. These are the practices and activities along mitigation. As educators, let us continue building a culture of safety and resilience to disasters in schools. Thank you and have a good day.